What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. And welcome back to another Let's Play video game discussion. A long while back, I took a look at Wavery 64. Did a full review for it. A game that came out it was almost a launch title for the Nintendo 64 with a North American release date of November 4th, 1996. And asked the question, is this game worth picking up and adding to your collection today? But I figure with this absolutely fantastic racing game, it deserves its own Let's Play game discussion. Well, let me just say right out of the gate, I think this game is easily, easily a top five racing game on the Nintendo 64. I would even argue, arguably number three on the entire system, only behind Diddy Kong Racing and Mario Kart. Let me get into some of the reasons why. First off, you got four different game modes here. You got Championship, you got Time Trials, you got Stunt Mode, and then of course two player verses. And of course your options where you can store and save all your files here. So, some very solid controls. So let's go into a Stunt Mode here. Show you guys this one first. Stunt mode is definitely a challenge to really get the hang of and to master. But I can assure you, trying to constantly go for a better personal record in this game mode actually gets to be very, very enjoyable. And it's definitely you versus the clock, as you can see right out of the gate. So each checkpoint gives me so many points. And then here we go, we're about to do a... So do a flip now it's it see good we got another checkpoint hey that was pretty good all right cool Ooh, we needed to get more points though but not bad for a quick little warm up here I just wanted to show you guys the stunt racing mode real quick now what makes this game arguably the absolute best in the entire game just has to be the water effects alone. I mean, the water physics in this game are just absolutely phenomenal. So, let's do a quick time trial here real quick, and I will tell you, show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. We're going to go over to Marine Fortress, one of the roughest courses in this entire game run a quick time trial here so I could talk to you guys instead of having to try to fight through the computer. This game also has three difficulty modes for the regular racing championship course. It has the normal, hard mode, and expert. And let me just say, hard mode and expert are no joke. They are really tough. You even got landmines in the course. But like I was talking about with the water physics, I mean, just watch this. I'm on a jet ski. I'm going, what, 100 something right there, miles an hour, 70, 80, 90, back up to 100 again. I'm just bouncing around the water. The water's really rough. And it's like, it really, you know, you really feel like you're actually on this jet ski in this water with this rough waves and everything else. And for a game that came out in 1996 to have this kind of great water physics in it was, you know, with the exception of the Hydro Thunder arcade game, it was really just totally unheard of for a game to have this depth and detail of the water physics and the waves themselves. And just, you know, to show you, I mean, just, you know, watch these waves for a minute as I'm racing around. Just, you know, like I said, you really feel like you're, you know, bouncing around in these waves, you're trying to fight them on this jet ski. I mean, it's, you know, these water physics hold up even to, to this very day. It's, you know, like I said, that's one of the key major reasons that I think this game is easily top five racing game in the Nintendo 64. And I would even argue probably top 20 or, you know, eh, we'll say top 15 in the entire console. Now, trust me, there's some stiff competition. But, you know, even here in the post scene... That's my, my time trials, as you can see there. Okay, so 
the next thing that this game's I thoroughly enjoy about this game, and I think that really makes it worthwhile, just the overall music presentation of the game. I mean, first off, this game's just gorgeous to look at with all the, you know, various backgrounds and the water and the way the water looks and handles. It's just a beautiful game. It's so bright and colorful and cheery. So here, let me show you what I'm talking about with that. We'll use a different person here. Also something else I haven't even noted yet, which is each course. You get four characters to start, but technically you could argue that there's eight because each, let me, whoop, let me back out here and go again. So again, we'll go back into the warm up. So technically you can actually say that there's eight because each character has their own, you know, kind of pre-built set. So if you haven't played this game and you're first starting off, I would suggest start with a girl. She's the lightest, she has the best handling. And then much, much later on, depending on your own custom, you know, how you like to play, you can either use, you know, this guy, or I think this person's the most balanced, the guy with the number two cart. Or maybe you might like him, who's the heaviest, but yeah, he's got the best top speed, but he's definitely the heaviest. And sometimes, you know, hitting a big wave can really kind of hurt. But again, as I was about to say before, each person has their own, uh, you know, can, you can make your own custom watercraft settings. So I'll show you that right now. We're going to warm up and welcome to Dolphin Park. Warm up time. And like I was saying before, I mean, just look at the way this game looks. Just the backgrounds and the details are just absolutely gorgeous to look at. The music's enjoyable. Where's this dolphin going in? Again, the water physics, phenomenal. You know, as I go, you know, here, let me show you what I'm talking about with that. Very solid controls, everything responds. When I move left, I move left. When I move right, and when I move right. And here, even if I wanna, let me do a little power slide here. I'm holding my right bumper now. So there's a power slide right there. You can really get, you know, really get tight around turns or just kind of get gradual, like, you know, just gradual a little like that. So, phenomenal controls that are very responsive. And especially for a game like this, you really need to have just absolutely phenomenal responsive controls as you're getting bounced around and facing other racers or trying to go for, you know, more points in a, um, you know, stunt mode or the t you know, trying to get a better time in time trials ah, and get any start boost that time. We'll see how we do here. So. We're obviously at normal here because I want to be able to talk to you guys while I'm playing this game. But as I said before, when you get to hard and expert mode, you, could, you know, this game gets to be no joke. Whoop, I actually cut that corner a little too tight. Got a little too cute there. Oh no. Oh, we got wiped out. <laughs> oh no. Can we recover? We'll see. We'll be alright. Just talking while we're playing this game. But I think this is absolutely a must-own game for any Nintendo 64 video game owner. It's a fantastic racing game. Solid controls, great music, great backgrounds. I mean, if I can think of any, you know, real glaring flaw with this game, there's really two that come to my mind, which is one, there's not a plethora of courses in this game, especially when you consider other racing games that are prominent for the Nintendo 64. Like if you talk about, say, like Diddy Kong Racing or Mario Kart or even my preferred game, Extreme G, those games all have more courses than this game. And then probably the second more glaring issue is just the fact that there's really only four starting racers. So, but the fact that you can customize your racer's cart kind of helps to at least kind of help you build to, uh, to more your own personal play style and the way that you like to play and how you like how you want your you know jet ski to control excuse me if i said cart i think i've been saying cart this whole video not cart 
if I have said Carter car, I'm sorry. I'm meaning to say jet ski. No, the girl's passing me. Can't let them show me up. Let's see if we can't do a little trick here real quick. There we go. Just get a little show off a little bit here. And if you do own this game and you have played it before, you know, leave a comment down below. Tell me what's your favorite, you know, what's your favorite part of this game? What's your least favorite part? What do you like best? What do you like least about this game? Again, for me personally, my biggest grievance with this game is just the lack of... No, come on, go, 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 go. Okay. The lack of overall racers in this game. And to a little bit lesser degree, the courses. My favorite part of this game is just the absolutely phenomenal water physics of the game that still holds so good today. Whoops. I didn't mean to cut the corner that tight. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes this game could be a little over too sensitive. Just a little bit. But again, comment below. Let me know what you think about this game. If you have any requests for future Let's Play game discussion, leave them down in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this one. I will also leave in the pinned comment my original review of this game. Hope you enjoyed this. And until next time, everybody.